How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. In today's video we're going to take a quick look at two military surplus sleeping bags. Now these are the two bags that I want to talk about today. This is the MSS Sleep System Intermediate Bag. It comes with that military four part system that's a stuff sack, a bivy, a light bag and then a heavy bag. Well this is the heavy bag out of that MSS Sleep System. The other bag I'd like to talk about is the British Cold Weather Military Sleeping Bag. Now for starters, the British bag is just a standalone unit. So if you buy this, you might get a bivy that fits it, but that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just the one thick, heavy, cold weather bag. The MSS Sleep System Intermediate Bag, uh, this bag you can add a, a lighter bag to it and it actually, they're built to snap together. And then there's a bivy you can add to this too, which makes it pretty much waterproof. And that also snaps together to make it one unit. Now both of these bags cost right around 50 bucks. I think I spent $30 for this one and maybe 15 on its compression sack. And this one over here was $49.99 and it came with a compression sack. So 50 bucks out the door for both of them. But the quality on both of these bags is pretty much as high as you're ever going to get for that kind of money. Now my personal experience with these two bags, other than a whole lot of camping, I took the black intermediate bag with me down the Yukon River back in 2014 when we shot Yukon River Run. That was September and October in northern Alaska and uh, this bag did pretty well for me but I was also staying in a wall tent with a wood stove so the temperature would fluctuate from about 60 degrees to down to about five above at the worst times. Also, I had about a four inch foam pad on my cot that I was sleeping on. So I had a lot of insulation underneath me. This bag generally kept me pretty warm. My experience with the British military sleeping bag, other than a lot of camping, I took this bag with me on a loan. And I slept in this bag for 49 straight days. And most of that time, all I had underneath me for a ground pad was a browse bed of uh, cedar boughs. Let's take a look at some of the fine points. Now in the British bag, you've got a pair of these large mesh pockets on the inside. You can stick whatever you want inside of these pockets when you're sleeping to keep it warm. And if you're in the bag, you're, the pockets are like right about here. Like you fill this pocket from this side and you fill this pocket from this side. Also I should mention, on this British sleeping bag, it only has a half zipper. So it basically goes from your waistline up to about your nose. Also, the zipper on the British bag goes straight up the front. It's not a side zipper. It goes right up the front of the bag. The zipper on the British bag, it zips from the inside only. It doesn't have an outside zipper pull to it. So you zip this zipper up and down from the inside of the bag when you're in it. And if you wanted to unzip it from the outside, it's kind of tedious because there's only one tab on this zipper. But massive zipper, massive zipper teeth, I don't think you're ever going to have a problem with that. Now the zipper on the MSS bag, it's a good solid zipper too. The teeth are a lot smaller, the zipper pull is probably half the size of the British bag, but this does have a full length zipper. The zipper on this bag, it goes from about a foot from the bottom all the way up to right around your collarbone. Now the foot box in the British bag, it's the same thickness as the rest of the bag overall. The foot box on the MSS bag, it's double thick, so it's a double insulated foot box. Now the big difference on these bags is uh, size. The black MSS sleep bag, it's not quite as large. Now if I'm wearing any extra clothing like this coat and this hat, I can barely get the hood on over my head. And as far as shoulder space, it's fairly tight. It's not very tight in the legs, even though there's a fair amount of leg room, there's not a ton of shoulder room. The one thing that's a real selling point from one bag to the next for me is the hood. Now I'm standing in the bottom of this bag and I can't even get the hood to come to the end of the brim of my hat. There's just not a ton of hood here. The drawstring on this, it won't really close this bag up on somebody my height. And with the British bag, again, I'm standing in the bottom of it. This is what you get for a hood. The hood in this bag could cover my face and my head and if I had a large hat on it it would totally cover that. Now as you can see this bag has a massive hood. You could probably even put a pillow inside this hood. It also has a lot more shoulder space, has a bit more leg space, has quite a bit more shoulder space, a couple good inches, but the hood is really 
the thing that makes a ton of difference. It also has a drawstring, so you can draw this hood together to an opening about like that. And it's going to be about that far away from your face. Lots of room to wear a nice thick scarf, nice thick hat. Even throw a piece of clothing or a small pillow inside this. The two things about this bag that really sell it for me is the massive hood and uh, th the size. It's just a bigger bag. So there you have it. There's my rundown of the two military surplus sleeping bags I have the most experience with. So which one's right for you? Let me break it down like this. The, the British bag is a bigger bag. It fits a taller person better. I'm 6'2 and 245. This bag fits me fantastic. This bag is warmer than the black bag. The British bag is a larger bag overall. It's got a more robust zipper. Uh, the zipper's plenty good on the MSS bag, and it's a full-length zipper if that's important to you. You may find a bivy that fits the British bag, but other than that, it's just a standalone bag. It's not part of a system where you can add on to it or take away from it to kind of fit the climate. The British bag may be too warm for you, most times out of the year. Even though the MSS bag and the British bag are about the same price with a compression sack, the MSS bag for about 75 bucks you get the intermediate bag, the compression sack, you'll get the cool weather bag, and it comes with a waterproof bivy. So you can get this bag with the three other components that go with it for about 75 bucks. You're only talking 25 more than this one. So if you want a sleeping bag system that's going to work in the rain, that's going to work when it's pretty warm out, that's going to all be able to be used together when it's really cold, the MSS is a lot better option in that regard. If you're a big person, the British bag is tops because uh, this bag, as much as I've used it, I've always felt like I I'm at the absolute limit of it. I've never been completely satisfied with the way that this bag fits. It's always felt like it's just a hair too small. So I would say if you're over six foot, over 200 pounds, the British military bag is really hard to beat. If you're under six foot, under 200 pounds, I would say uh, the MSS bag offers a lot more options and you can have everything that this system has to offer for about 25 bucks more than you can get this bag by itself. If you really like to get into your bag, and really crawl inside and have a lot of covering over your face, the British bag is superior in every way because it has that massive hood to it. The hood on this bag, there's just enough hood to say that there's a hood, but that's about it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and going through this little rundown of these two military surplus sleeping bags. A lot of quality for the money. Uh, they're kind of apples and oranges. They're two different animals. If one's right for you, the other one might not quite be right. And uh, if you're looking at both of these, now you know what the difference is. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell next to it to get updates when I post videos, which I try to do quite often. Thank you guys so much for watching Bush Radical. My name's Dave Whipple. Be radical, eh? See you soon.